Hello everybody, what's going on today? Welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast review and today we're going to take a look at Brick Yardley Vitaline Racer number 24 from Cars 3. So before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So Brick Yardley is a veteran piston cup racer that had raced for Vitaline from 2007 to 2016 and is good friends with Lightning McQueen, Bobby Swift, and Cal Weathers. He, he shares this he also shares the same number as Jeff Gordon and and starting from 2007, he replaced the previous filing racer, James Clean Air, number 61, from Cars 1. And before the, the, the LA 500, the final race of the 2016 Piston Cup season at LA International Speedway, he was fired by Vitaline's owner, in favor of a next-gen racer named Chase Racelot with his, with his number, although who is named after Chase Elliott, one of my favorite NASCAR drivers, which they both share the same number as Jeff Gordon. So now, let's get right into the review here. So, here we have his friendly facial expression and his number 24 underneath one of his headlight stickers his black grill which represents his mustache and on the hood we have the vinyling logo for older active cars and on the side on the left side we have the light year insignia on one of his wheel arches and green rim black wall light year racing tires and the number 24 and the chrome white and gray lining and an arrow a red arrow underneath the 24 which indicates the the pities to lift him up while they change his tires and a contingency sponsors such as Piston Cup, Vitaline, Revolting, RPM, Nitro Aid, Octane Gain, and Clutch Aid. And on the top, we have another un number 24, or, and with a with half with the background half green and half white, and his Brickyard Lee's name signature. Oh, and I also forgot to mention another Vitaline logo on the left side in the gas cap, and. And on, the, and on the back top, we have another Vitaline logo. And on the back, we have his red rear headlight stickers, or working headlights, and or actual working headlights, matter of fact. Another Vitaline logo, and a number 24 on his bumper. And on the right side, repeated design, and here we have the exhaust pipes, and... That is it. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that Brick is an Excello Fission EA. So let's compare him to the other. So now let's compare him to the other Violin Racers. Here we have James Clean Air from Cars 1, number 61. So. So here's a difference between these two. So here are some differences between those two. James Clean Air has an aggressive facial expression, no grill, shade of green darker, and with a number 61 white on the hood, and with the 2006 Vitaline logo. No. 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 
no grill. Well, well, black on the rims. Several contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Nitrate, Revolting, Octane Gain, Mood Springs, Vitally, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torquey Pistons, Leakless, Ridge Trade, and Clutch Shade. No name signature. And no name signature. Sure. Here. Here. And white on the spoiler. Here. While Brick Yardley has a friendly facial expression, he has working headlights and and is number 24, which one of his numbers is positioned underneath one of his working headlights. And he has a friendly expression, a grill, which is his mustache, and a 2017 Vitaline logo. Oh. And with green green rims on his tires on his racing racing tires and a few contingency logos which reads piston cup vitaline revolting rpm nitrate octane gain clutch shade and name signature and another another 24 on his bumper away from his working headlights Lights and green, lighter shade of green, and green on the spoiler. Although in the movie, his spoiler is white. Eight, 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 and and also and also Chase Race Lot. What? See, here's another difference, and here's another difference. Chase Salient has a grumpy facial expression, and a lighter shade of green, and a with a bit of dark shade of green on uh, poor half of it on the hood, and a next gen Vitaline logo on the hood with a bit of gray striping. Being on the half part of the hood, and the with exhaust pipes on both sides, and a V on the and a letter V on both sides, and a gas cap, and a and a few contingency sponsors saying piston cups. Combu combustor. Hold on. Yeah, combustor. Start over. Piston cup, combustor, carbon cyber, and synergy. No name signature. Whoa. Sorry about the camera. Camera shook. Although some so some shots can be a bit shaky. Ducktail spoiler and flat spoiler and rookie stripes, which means Chase is a rookie. While Brick while Brick Yardley has no rookie stripes, which means he's a veteran. And. That and that, so the Vitaline logo has evolved, evolved, has evolved over the years in the history of the Piston Cup, and and I also and like I said, Ed, or if I didn't say it, Brick is a two is a I mean an Excelio Fijon EA. So let's compare him to the other other X. Other Excelio Fission EAs. Here we have the the nameless Revengo Racer, or should I say, or should I name it 
Joshua Josh Leverson, Buck Baringley, Brian Spark, Parker Brixton, Tommy Highbanks, Dud Throttleman, and Terry Cargaz. Although, although, although there's a slight difference. Brick Yardley looks similar to the other Excelio Vision EAs, while Terry Car and Terry Cargaz's diecast model well, looks similar to Cal Weathers. But Mattel, why did you made Terry Cargaz look like Cal Weathers back in 2017? Oh well. So and let's comp and some other Excelio models. Here we have Mac Icar from Cars 1, who is a normal Vision. Cora Copper, who Cora Copper, who is a Rapido SI. And Manny McGear, who is a Microlux. And that is it. And, oh, and one more comparison. Racers that, that bear the number 24. Here we've got, lastly, Jeff Gordon. I mean, not Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gorvet. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. So, and that is it. So, what do you guys think? Which Vitaline racer is her favorite? Which Axelio oh, oh, car is your favorite? Leave your thoughts and please leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, please leave any suggestions of which car of the past should I review next. So, so I'm desperately really in need of some suggestions right now. So, see you guys next time. Goodbye now.